Hey y'all, welcome back to Gymnastics for Dummies. Here on my channel, we analyze gymnastics skills and routines and go through what we could do to make that skill better. Or we're just here to kind of teach everybody what the heck gymnastics even is, what it's about, how hard it is, what judges are looking for, and so many more. So today we're going to dive into the Souk Timer Vault. This can be done in level six and seven. This type of vault also translates into a flip starting in level eight, nine, and 10. In this video, the little girl that I have, she does a really good Souk. There's some things in there that I noticed that I do a comparison in side by side. So let's go ahead and dive into that. Okay, let's get into this souk vault right here. It's a pretty good souk vault. Let's see if I, I don't remember how I edited it. Yeah, really good. Actually, not too bad. Could she have gotten a little bit more height? Yes. So we're going to get into how um, we can achieve that. So something that I want to note right here on her entry right there her hands look a little too far right here on the table i prefer that hand to get a little bit closer to the front of the table so put that right hand maybe a little bit closer that way we can really use this little hump of the table to push against whenever we're doing that block so if she could just get into the front of the table a little more right here it probably helped that ball, uh, that block a little bit. Her head is a little bit more out than I would prefer. It's not too bad, but just a little bit more in, really starting to rotate those hips and those shoulders a little bit more. And then you see right here, that's right about where her hands get off. So if you all recall in my last, in a, the Yurjingo video that I did, see that, that diagram, that 90 degree angle. Here's 45. Do you see how her feet are past that 45 degree angle? So again, remember this is up to five tenths. This is up to a point. So we could take about five tenths on her angle of repulsion technically. So fixing that block that I mentioned right here could help her block a little bit closer to handstand, getting away from such a high deduction in the angle of repulsion. Something that I wanted to note right here is her entry. Do you see, she's pretty far from the board. This is good. This is a good thing. We want a pretty good distance. We want to think of, I always reference with my kids, like track and field, triple jumps, a really long jump into the sand. Thinking of a really aggressive jump into that sand, aka the board and punching that board as hard as we can to create the momentum and power that we need for the vault, especially when they're so tiny it's it's hard vaults really hard when you're small and you're short and you don't have a lot of weight behind you so again referencing where we would prefer that hand she has a pretty good chest lift right there's where those hands drop off and we're at below 45 degree angle so that's going to be a deduction i wanted to show turn this down i wanted to show a comparison granted this is a grown man i know but men boys the, in their in gymnastics, I they have some of the best souks, and they do that so aggressively, and you're gonna see why. So here it is in slow motion, and we're gonna pause right here. Do you see what I mean? There's that hand in the front of the table, and so that second hand can hit right here in the middle of the table, and it can help that angle of repulsion. Now I want to slow it down even more. Look how far. Do you see how far he's jumping from the board? That matters. Creating that speed. And then right here, see how his chest is up. Oh, shoot. Let me rewind. Boom. Feet. If anybody's ever done vault and your coaches have said, get your feet in front of your chest, this is what they're talking about. Here's his feet. Here's his chest. It's right underneath, if not a little bit more. This is just gonna help the entry of that vault with you not falling your chest forward onto the vaulting table. Puts his hand right in the front of the table. Do you see how that second hand is extremely bent? This is okay. This is not a deduction. It, it specifies this in the souk rules. That leading, which is what we call it, the leading hand can be bent. Now, notice his second hand. His second hand locks, boom that elbow is locked out because that hand is what's basically going to be your go pedal. It's going to be your accelerator. It's going to be everything 
where you get your height. So this is kind of leveraging you onto this spot and then boom, we're gonna lock out our second hand pretty far away and this is going to lock out enough for us to just take all of this momentum, boom, straight up. So I go back right here, boom. See what I mean? Look how locked out his arm is and then boom. His hands are coming off, look where his feet are, almost in handstand. And that's why he's able to do a two and a half out of this fall because he has the height to do it because of this arm. And of course, all the speed and momentum on top of it. But continues that momentum, blah, blah, blah. Um, just referencing back to that second hand. I mean, it's just a really good, it's a crazy repulsion that he gets off of that second hand, but it's not a coincidence given how well he does that second hand. Again, right here, you can see that elbow lock out even more. You can really tell it's completely locked out. Look, notice where his eyes are. Eyes are looking at his hands. He's gonna start looking this way because his body, he's a lefty. His body's going to be turning left. So we're going to get his belly button facing us pretty soon. And he's trying to rotate that body around as fast as he can. So he's gonna start looking this way a little bit, or at least starting with his hands, like I mentioned earlier. Locking out that elbow, creating that repulsion. See, there's his belly buttons coming towards us and he's gonna start that block lift. Now he's gonna start his set into the two and a half. I mean, that's just crazy. Here's a comparison. She looks good. She looks very similar to him. First elbow's bent, second elbow locked out. Her second elbow does look a little bit softer, meaning not as locked out as his, but the biggest difference is where is the first hand? Front of the table, middle of the table almost. We wanna get in the front of that table maybe just a little bit more, maybe a little bit taller in the back, a little bit tighter, but granted she's a little girl and this is a grown man, so. Okay, so like you just saw, there's not too many things that I think she needs to fix. I think maybe getting that hand in the front of the table just a little bit more is going to help her height into the souk and it's gonna help that angle of repulsion as you saw when her hands left off where her feet were was past 45. So again, we have that angle of repulsion chart that we go off of as judges. And we want those feet almost in handstand by the time the hands come off the table, just so we can make sure and ensure a tight flip is going to happen in those levels eight, nine, and 10. Every level in gymnastics is a stepping stone to the highest level. It's just like school. You have to start in kindergarten and or first grade to second, third, fourth, fifth, all the way up until you can graduate high school. That's essentially what this vault is helping the little girls do and boys in gymnastics is if you can figure out a good timer, which is the vault itself where there's no flip afterwards, then if we can have a good timer, we will be able to have a good flip. If we're good at math in the third grade, we should be good at math in the fourth grade, et cetera, et cetera, because we have those foundations. So I think she has a pretty good suit. Another huge factor that goes into people being good at vault is your height, your weight, your experience. So I think with her being so tiny and so little, she has a pretty good suit. And I imagine that when she gets a little bit taller and she gets a little bit more weight behind her with some muscles and or whatever, gaining weight is okay, by the way. <laughs> like people talk about how gymnasts shouldn't gain weight please don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. It's good for gymnasts to gain weight, gain muscle, gain strength. Like it's okay. That number on the scale doesn't matter. You need to gain weight in gymnastics, obviously in the healthiest way possible. And I'll give myself as an example, the best I ever was at vault in my opinion was when I was a senior in college and I was the heaviest I've ever weighed in my life. Well, not my life. I was pregnant at one point and I got up to 200 pounds. So um, I've been <laughs> I've been heavy before, but I mean the heaviest I've ever been when I wasn't pregnant. So the heaviest I was was about 150 pounds. I was 150 pounds in college, um, but I was 5'9". So whatever. But it's okay to weigh a certain weight when you know you're healthy and that you're able to do your job. So that's what matters. So as we get older, we get taller and we gain weight, which is again a good thing we will experience better vaults, better tumbling, because we're just more powerful. We have a little bit more umph to punch the board, to run, to block. And that's why you see men's gymnastics have such good vaults. It's because they've got muscles behind them. They've got weight behind them to help with those vaults. So I imagine her vault's gonna be really good in the future, especially as she gets older and taller. And there's just key little things, like I said, with the hand placement in the front of the table that I think will help her. But like I said, I think she has a pretty good vault.
So go ahead and like, comment, subscribe if you liked this video. Please leave it, your comments below um, if anything you'd like to chime in. I am by no means a perfect coach and I don't know everything. There's a lot of things that I'm still learning, even having been a gymnast for 20 years. And there's some things that I just don't notice or catch that maybe some other coaches that have more experience than me or that don't, but they see it, they may catch it. And that's what I want this page to be about. I want coaches to work together and gymnasts to work together so we can really make gymnastics a better place, whether it's in a healthy environment and also with technique. So if you're a coach, comment down below what else you think could help or what else that you noticed. Please subscribe to this channel. I'm really trying to grow this channel and give me reason to continue posting. It does take time to make videos to edit and I have a really heavy plate, but I know you guys really want me to do this and I'm really gonna try my best to keep uploading consistently on YouTube and kind of start making this my thing. And I need your guys' help to do that. So please subscribe and share this and let's all work together. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.